Good morning, everybody, and thank you for making the trip. As Ron said, uh, I'm excited to be out again. It's been two years since I kind of did this, but my name is Rodolfo Herano. I'm a director of sales engineering uh, for the South, Southeast, and Mid-Atlantic regions. Um, I want to see by race of hands, who, who is familiar with SUSE and what SUSE does? I see a couple of SUSE employees raising their hands. That's, that's good. <laughs> good stuff. Uh, <laughs> So in essence, uh, our company was born as an enterprise Linux distribution uh, about from 1992. So it's going to be 30 years this year. Um, and, and the company has expanded to not only uh, cover what is the, the Linux environment, uh, but also a couple of additional pillars, uh, which are the ECM, uh, Enterprise Container Management Space, uh, as well as at the edge. Um, so if you see the next slide, uh, the main, let me see here, uh, the Linux uh, quadrant here was how we started. Uh, and we've just added on uh, interesting things and products uh, such as Rancher. Uh, the acquisition of Rancher uh, about two years ago was a, a huge one uh, in the container space, uh, just because of, I'm gonna talk about this, this buzzword a lot, uh, Kubernetes uh, container sprawl has started and we see it already. Um, and that is one thing that brought us uh, to, to light um, for a lot of customers. They, a lot of people knew Rancher. Uh, a lot of people don't know that SUSE acquired Rancher. So we're, we're spreading the word in that regard. Rodolfo, Sir. is it like Kubernetes sprawl, the new version of VM sprawl? From a Abs now? Absolutely. So that's, that's happening and, and we do see the same type of shadow IT that we saw uh, with cloud computing and with the hyperscalers, um, we're seeing with Kubernetes and containers as well. Um, the latest SUSE acquisition is a product called New Vector. Uh, New Vector used to be a closed source proprietary uh, container security uh, software um, that SUSE has bought last year and we've made it open source. Like everything we do, every single thing we do is open source. Uh, what you can purchase from us is that enterprise support and maintenance for, for your products. Um, so without further ado, I'll just dive into security uh, within containers. Um, and like Ron was mentioning, uh, the container sprawl is probably the biggest challenge that we're seeing. When you wrap that around Kubernetes as well, uh, there's a level of abstraction uh, in the network layer that makes traditional security tools not, not really work in this type of environment. So we needed to really think out of the box um, and figure out a way of covering those, those types of things. Gartner basically uh, shows this uh, little, and maybe for the guys in the back, you won't be able to see any of this because it's a bit of an eye chart even for me standing right next to it. Um, but in essence, uh, container security uh, control hierarchy based on, on Gartner's uh, take uh, is all of these things from securing the, the hardening of your containers and your registries uh, all the way up to la layer seven network se segmentation. Um, so new vector actually covers not only that part, but down here as well with the hardening and CIA uh, benchmarks. Um, but, but yeah, uh, in essence, uh, it allows you to do um, the file centric uh, audit and protection, uh, CVE management. So not only uh, reactive uh, type of, uh, of corrections, but also preventive uh, actions at the layer seven uh, segmentation as I'll, as I'll dig into a little bit uh, more uh, by doing some automation on top of that. Um, so we basically see that hackers these days are no longer just targeting your production environment they're going straight for your registry. So your developers that are using and creating containers uh, and container images, uh, we're seeing hacker attacks uh, since this stage, um, but as well during your CI CD pipeline creation uh, and builds. And like I mentioned, within your registries, your container registries, there, there, there's also uh, some attacks and vulnerabilities that, that appear uh, and obviously also at the runtime. So if we drill a little bit more, and this is a, a lot of things to, to see, but uh, in essence, New Vector will allow you to provide that 
that level of security for your entire landscape from when you build your containers all the way through production. And if you have questions, please stop me. I'm not in love with the, the, the sound of my voice. So if we make it interactive, it'll be even better. All right. So like I, like I mentioned before, there's a part, portion of the security component that, that is gonna be reactive. Uh, and that comes with the vulnerability scanning or compliance scanning. So that's when your uh, CIO or CISO taps you on the shoulder and says, oh, I saw this article about this Lock4J thing. Are we vulnerable? Uh, how vulnerable are we to this new vulnerability? Uh, new Vector enables you to just go in and punch in a CVE code and it'll, it'll remediate those, those containers uh, or registries that may have that vulnerability. But on top of that, uh, we do a proactive type of security, uh, which is at runtime, um, utilizing what's called, I saw somebody else had uh, a talk around zero trust that probably will be similar, uh, but zero trust, basically you allow applications to do certain things and nothing else. Everything by default is blocked. Um, so how new vector works is based on, on the behavior of the applications. It actually learns and determines if there's something out of the box uh, that's trying to infiltrate your apps and blocks it and, and reports it immediately. So again, going back to the full life cycle, uh, we do the, the, from the build scanning, uh, we can tell what vulnerabilities will be present there. Uh, registry scanning, uh, CIS benchmark, as I, as I mentioned, uh, compliance, whether it's PCI or GDPR, um, we will do that type of scanning as well. Uh, and that is from the vulnerability and compliance side. Uh, when it comes to runtime uh, protection, there's uh, admission controls, uh, there's uh, layer seven, uh, web application firewall, uh, there's container workload security, um, alerts and forensics as well. But like I mentioned before, there's a level of automation to it where based on the behavior and how your applications work, it learns and determines what actions could be potentially malicious. Um, and it also allows you finally to do security uh, policies as code as well, where you can just create your code and based on that, it'll create a security policy. So, so pretty um, interesting topics. Uh, I mentioned zero trust um, and zero trust basically uh, identifies uh, in a discovery phase, um, how your applications communicate with each other and interact with each other. Um, based on, of, of that discovery phase, you can have two types of, um, of segmentation, uh, whether it's a monitor or protect, um, options uh, in the monitor it'll basically just alert you when there's something that's out of the normal behavior or scope of your application interaction uh, with when you have protect mode enabled it'll not not only alert you but it will also block any of that um, malicious behavior and finally you can replicate these security policies with yaml code as security policy as code so new vector has some uh, unique capabilities and I'm nearly at the end uh, of my presentation here. I'm good. Thank you, Ron. Uh, so yeah, like I mentioned, uh, New Vector allows you to automate the security policies based on the behavior of the applications. Um, this is actually a diagram of a Kubernetes cluster and all of the interactions in between uh, the different pods. If you're familiar with Kubernetes, that's how the containers are deployed. They're, it's called pods. Uh, so the pods basically communicate through each other in the network, and um, it will give you a visible representation of what's going on within your cluster. Uh, like I mentioned before, the zero trust protections not only go from network to process to file access, um, and then the deep packet inspection allows you uh, to have data loss prevention, and you can have a web application firewall as well. I mentioned Lock4J earlier. Uh, if you did have to work this out, it was not an easy one to figure out. Uh, our customers that have New Vector uh, basically were protected from every single angle, uh, from the detection and remediation, where you had the CVE vulnerability number, you would go do the scan, 
and fix those with, with a patch, uh, but also on the prevention side uh, by the admission controls. Um, so that, that allowed not for it to expand and propagate uh, across your organization. Uh, and finally, continuous protection with the firewall and the zero trust um, processes as well. So as a final note, I will just say uh, cloud native security should not be an afterthought. Uh, stay ahead of it and you'll be all right. Uh, it is not to be assumed that it's built into the cloud. You obviously need to do uh, some additional work uh, in order for you to be completely protected. Um, in our view, it must be automated and that's what New Victor brings to the table as well as it must enforce a zero trust mechanism. With that, I will open it for questions if you have any.